So you want to increase your speed and your dexterity? Here's an exercise to help you do just that. So I won't make this super long and the concept of this exercise is actually pretty simple. Once you get the scale of where this derives from, you'll pretty much get the whole thing. So I'm starting on the note A using the Mixolydian scale. And just remember it's a major scale with a flat seven. And then I'm going to G and playing the same exact scale. And just going back and forth from that. I like to use this exercise along with chords as well. So I'll use a uh, suspended seven chord. And go back and forth with this scale on top of this. So A sus, A seven sus, G seven sus. And it's just a nice progression to go back and forth with just those two notes. So I created an exercise with that using the Mixolydian scale. So let's go note by note. So we have the Mixolydian scale, we're walking it up. So I'm going all the way up to the G string. So from the E string, playing the entire scale, extending it to the G string. So my last notes on the G string are B, D sharp, and D, okay? And I'm stopping right there. And this one I start descending. Now, once you get this concept, you'll move this down a whole step and it'll be the same exact positioning and fingering and phrasing, all that good stuff, okay? So once you get this down, we're just moving it down a whole step, okay? So the pattern of this, once you're done, I'm adding a note in there that's not inside the scale technically. And I'm circling that around to the third note or to the tenth note of the scale. So we have A mixolydian, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that tenth note that belongs there inside of the scale, I'm circling that. So I have the D that's a half step away from that, and then the D that's a half step away in the other direction, and then I'm landing right on that C sharp where that note actually lies in the scale. Okay, so. After that, I'm walking it down the correct way. Well, not actually the correct way. I'm walking it down. It's a really, it's a weird chromatic movement that I'm doing, mainly because I'm trying to fit it inside of a six, eight time signature. So you'll get what I'm saying in a minute. So I'm walking it down using the B. After that, I'm playing the A. Now this is where the chromatic movement comes in. So three notes after that, the chromatic note on the D string. So starting from A, chromatic down. So A, A flat, G, G flat. And I'm gonna do the same formation on the next string above on the A string, starting on the E. E, E flat, D, D flat, okay? So all together, turn around, chromatic. Next note is gonna be the B, the second note of the Mixolydian scale, and then my one then that's where we move to the next. Okay, so you get the idea. So I'm going back and forth between those two and that's really the whole entire thing. I told you I didn't wanna make this too long. So I'll do this a little bit slower so you guys can catch it. Fingering is gonna be actually pretty simple. I'm using the correct fingering for the correct frets or using the four finger pattern for the frets. Okay, so my finger here in second position, I'm starting on A. My finger lands on every single note. So if my second finger is here on the fifth fret, my first finger is assigned to the fourth fret, my third finger is assigned to the sixth fret, fourth finger is assigned to the seventh fret. Okay, so you walk it up the scale, two, four, one, two, four, using finger numbers. One, two, four, one, three, four, two, three, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, two. Back down, same thing. Da -da 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 -da. Very, very simple once you move that down and once you go back and forth with this exercise it'll start to burn just a little bit if you continually do that and I was doing that at 125 BPM I actually played it and stayed there I just doubled it okay so if I'm doing that same exact time signature it'll sound something like this
Okay, and then I'm doubling that the same exact way, but I'm just doubling the rhythm, okay? Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, so double. Okay, so that's double. This is half of that. Double. Double that. I don't know if I can do that. Hold on. Three, four, five. I'm rushing. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's double that. So I, I stayed right there on 125 BPM. You don't have to do that. Let me just stop that for a second. You don't have to do that, but this is the method that I use uh, just to kind of get through it a little bit quicker. But if you want to incrementally go up, is that a word? Yeah, it's a, it's a word. Go up in increments as far as 125, 130, 140, or even slower than that. And you can do that as well. That's perfectly fine. So whichever way you choose to uh, practice this exercise, whatever level you're on, whatever speed you feel comfortable at, uh, you can do that by all means. So just making sure you're getting the notes out, making sure they're nice, clean, clear, and precise. And we have tons more lessons like this uh, in the Bass Nation Academy. So if you haven't visited that, I strongly suggest that you go, go check that out, that you go check that out. I'm getting tongue tied here. Go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, also, if you haven't hit that red subscribe button, please hit the red subscribe button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's great to be here every single week with you guys. Click that notification bell so you don't get you don't miss anything that we upload so you can be here every single week with me. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you comment in the comment section. Love chopping it up with you guys down there and I'll see you in the next one.